<laughs> oh gosh, it's been a while since I've done a video flip backwards. <laughs> um, we were just talking about how today is an A8 portal. I kind of mentioned it already in the other video. How can I hold this without bumping anything? This is why I don't have it flipped backwards. Should we stop somewhere and... In uh, some shade? In the shade, yeah. <laughs> can we stop at our picnic spot here we had? Uh, okay, yeah. Let's just go stand in shade. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this morning we were out realizing that it's kind of a powerful day for manifestation. And then Jordan, because he's a genius at remembering all dates. All moments in life. <laughs> all moments in life. Dates, dates and times and numbers. Uh, you're telling me about what had happened on this date years ago. 14 years ago, I was uh, working at the racetrack. I used to exercise race horses. I was an outrider. I was, I don't know, everything I could be 18 hours out of the day. And uh, I was working as one of the outriders during the races and I had to help a jockey pull his horse up. And in the process, my horse and his horse clipped heels and I went down. And, uh, yeah, I was out of out of service for a while. I was wondering why why me there. And then I think that would be geez, almost what, two and a half months later when me and you met. So he's skipping the fact that he lived in a whole other province, not in Kamloops, and I was living in not in Kamloops, I was living out at my parents' ranch at that time. Uh, we were not together in totally different provinces. So after his accident, he then moved back to town, back to Kamloops. And then, yeah, two months later, we run into each other for the first time in a really long time. And that's kind of the beginning of our story. So the moral of the whole story is something really kind of crappy happened to Jordan upended his whole life he had to move all the way back feeling sorry for himself i didn't feel that sorry right? <laughs> i didn't look sorry for myself when we met uh, and then we met and then his whole and we were talking about how that kind of worked like when you're not in alignment with your path or not in alignment with a direction a new direction in life of where you may be going that something has to shift, something has to give. Not always does something bad have to happen, but something changes, something shifts within our lives, whether we like it or not, whether it was quote unquote good or bad, but a change happens and you're redirected on a new path. That was a really big one. Because if that hadn't have happened, I don't know what the chances are of you of coming back to Kamloops all in that time frame for us to randomly meet at an A&W because both of us didn't eat and we were hungry at like 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of, a lot of, I don't know, chances, a lot of chances that happened in that moment. A lot of stuff happened in a short period of time after that. Too. Yeah. 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 So yeah. That was here 14 we are. years ago. Here we are. <laughs> I was 25 years old. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Fun fact. Fun fact. How we met. <laughs> wow. The further of that story. <laughs> wow. The reason why I was at A&W in town is because I had to go pick up a horse I had at the time that kept bucking me off and he bucked me off for the last time in my life and I had left him where he bucked me off so I had to go back and get him and he was in the trailer 
my horse was in the trailer and I ran into Jordan and I was like, hey, you're Jordan. And I struck up a conversation and I was the one being like, you should come look at this horse in my trailer. He'd probably be really good for you. I was trying to sell him a horse. That bucked no, me that's off. what I thought. So you were just trying to sell me a horse. When you gave me your number, that's how I thought. You just trying to sell me a horse. Our, our first like real cowboy date, I made him ride that horse out moving cattle. So I had to have him prove that he is cowboy enough to be enough <laughs> enough all right so, yeah. you could have said and then some more and then some more there we go yeah and he rode the horse that kept bucking me off yeah here i am here still riding are. horses that buck you still off still riding horses to be fair james he didn't buck me off we just had a collision and I'm breakable, and he's not as breakable, so. But he's doing really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else to that story? Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Three kids later. Three kids later. I can't even tell you how many horses later. How many Lots. rides we've Lots. done. Lots. We've had so many And adventures. I remember a lot of them horses, too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, James is just unloading over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're going to continue on on our ride here before it gets hotter. Yeah, let's get back to riding before it gets hot. Put that phone away.